been getting a lot of requests, people wanting to know about catching sand fleas. And I did do a video back in 21 on catching sand fleas, but uh, I'm gonna put it back on the website, uh, how to use my nets that we have here at Atlantic Seafood. But anyway, this is my sand flea rake. I don't have to. And you'll see how the sand goes through it uh, when I'm catching the fleas. But anyway, this is a, a different video I'm going to show you. It was from 21 in Ju July, August, September, me catching sand fleas on the beach down New Smyrna. And then I'll do Pompano afterwards after I've caught them. But anyway, this is for all you guys that wanted to see my video on catching sand fleas. Folks, all, all along about how I go about catching sand. I never get down in the water. I stand up on the shoreline, looking down the beach, so I can see a bed of them. So after the wave comes over the top of them, I'm gonna go out there and put my net down. But anyway, I'm gonna have Jonathan here uh, zoom in on, on these fleas, what I'm looking for when I look down the beach. Uh, as the wave comes in, that's a bad one. You see all the foam? Sand fleas, all, all of that sand fleas. So you look for bubbles, and I say no. I look for the indention in the sand where, where they are. So you don't see them now. you the other day, these are resident pitch fish, Pompano, probably had babies here. When I make my scoop a lot of times, I'll get, what, four or five Pompano. This is close right here. There's a lot of small fleas here that go through the net, but I'm, I'm getting enough bigger ones. Without showing the background up there, get it on this water here, son, so that you see that.
and order one of these sample rates. I've got them. Uh, you can come by the shop and pick them up, or we can ship them to you. A fishman fish. Five food, please. Five no fish. And they're all down the shoreline. I can see them from 100 yards out. Anyway, I'll have you order one of these. Get it to you in a few days. Oh wait, light. You don't have to shake the sand out of it. Those store bottles. Custom built. Okay, here's all these little donuts. I tried to take a video of this last week when I was out here fishing. The week before last, or whenever it was. But these are all the little donuts I talk about when I'm on the beach. The clams. When you find these, you're going to find fish. That's what they feed on. So, you know, we got, try to match it up. See, these, white's been the dominant color today for me. Uh, this is uh, July 6th. We had a busy weekend on the beach, and so I didn't really come down here to fish. But I want to show you these sand please. The reason I'm fishing right here is because I got all these clams, okay? I'm going to walk out here and show you these sand fleas, the whole beach is just covered with them. I took my foot and just kicked them up. They were about a hundred running, running down the beach. But uh, anyway, looking down the beach here, this is all sand fleas. No pompano and whiting. Even though it's July, I've got pompano in my cooler, I've got whiting in the cooler. I'm, I'm fishing a whiting tournament today. Uh, the Ritz Bar always has a Whiting tournament. Nobody else fishing on the beach. Nice, clear, good, clean water. I fished at Panna Park yesterday afternoon. Caught a few fish, but the water wasn't as, as nice as what I really liked it. Because I like a nice break, nice clean water, and plenty of bait for fishing. I mean, here it is. Whiting. Biting on these. Sam, please. When I catch one, he's full, full of periwinkles. He'll throw them up. That's these small clams. That's it. The whole beach is just covered with them. I'm going to walk over this way. Here's another big pod that just come up. You never know where they're going to show. That's what I look for. When I'm on this beach. I want to see these clams. And I want to, I want to be able to uh, fish right where, where the clams and the sand are. Uh, lucky today, I can just leave my rods in the cart. And didn't have to put out the sand spikes and things like that to catch these fish. I am going to show you, uh, I'm not going to show you where I am, but I'm going to show you that I've got uh, fish in the box and I've got uh, pompano, I've got whiting. I don't know if I can win the tournament or not, but boy, I have caught some fish. And uh, nobody else fishing. That's the good part about it. Uh, I got down on the beach and uh, sure enough there they were from the very first cast the smaller fish earlier but uh, then they progressively see I'm fishing off the back of the cart here I got it up and uh, got it thrown out somebody that can take a, a picture of me here fighting a fish or whatever but uh, I'll uh, turn this down here I'm gonna throw, throw the camera on in my cooler of ice here so you can see there's my sand fleas I got a, a bucket of sand fleas get this rod out of the way here okay. wanna get here in my, in my cooler get all this ice really want to take them out of the ice uh, block it. This is pretty bad when you have to do all this stuff yourself. I've got some of the video for you, but look at this nice pompano. This gent, July pompano. How about these? Think they might win a tournament? 
and it's not just one or two fish, it's a cooler full of fish. Not all of them big, but you know there's enough of them. Quality, quality fish. Okay, getting ready now. I fished the incoming tide, it's starting to come in. So I guess I better get back to the way in. Got about a, enough time to catch a couple more fish. I don't think I have to be there until six, and so I got plenty of time. It's uh, only one, one o'clock, so. All right. Turn this thing off. We will put it on YouTube tonight, Facebook, and uh, let everybody see just what I'm doing here in the middle of July. Well, not quite the middle. Fourth was a couple of days ago. We celebrated. I didn't fish because the beaches were too crowded. This is what I'm catching, folks, right here. If I could get somebody to help me, video me. But not that many people on this beach. <laughs>